Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel, Express Your Data. In today's video, we are going to solve one very interesting scenario that is parameterizing your custom SQL. So without wasting much time, let us get started. And while doing so, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So here the situation is very interesting. So, so far we have seen how to connect it to database and fetch the data. We have seen how to write a custom SQL and get the data. Now we are parameterizing or we are passing a parameter to our SQL so that we can make it dynamic. That is the intention here. So for that first step, what I'm doing is I'm connecting to a database. Okay. So I already have SQL server configured in my machine. So I'm just selecting that Microsoft SQL server and here I go. Okay. So as soon as we connect, you know, this window we get and we know if I click on this new custom SQL and I drag and drop. I can write a SQL query here, right? So we we know so far here. So I'm simply writing a basic query, select star from EMP, right? So this also we know. So if I click on preview results, this is the data that I'm getting. Okay, fine. So, but if you observe here, I want to pass a parameter into my SQL query. That is the agenda of this video. How can I do that? So like say my intention is I uh, maybe I'll click on just OK. And if I click on update, just maybe say I want information related to only department number. OK, like say maybe 10 or 20 or something like that. So I am doing that here. OK, or maybe I'll just click on this. I uh, did the custom SQL. Now what I'm doing is where I'm forming or constructing my SQL statement where my department number is equal to 10. Assume if I write like this, so what will happen? This will become my static value. So if at all again, I have to pass or change a department number. Again, I have to come here, edit my custom SQL and pass 20, right? So if I'm doing 10, I'm getting only for 10. If I'm doing uh, 20, it will only print for 20. Fine, but I don't want to come to this place every time, edit my custom SQL. I don't want that to happen. So based on whatever the value that I'm passing here in the parameter of the SQL, that value should come. So now here, if you see here at the bottom, we have an option called as insert parameter. Just click on that. Either you can create a parameter from here and you know pass it here, or you can you know you can go to any worksheet that you in which you are creating create a parameter there and pull it here so just to show you i'm just writing it here and i want to write it as a, a department number okay so uh, pass or maybe i'll just write a department number okay I am taking uh, integer value here and uh, by default, I'm just giving 10 here. So whatever you want, you can write it and just click on OK. Now see how it is working. OK, so this is how it has created a parameter parameters dot department number parameter indicates here that this is a parameter. This is how you need to identify in the query. If there is any value that is being, you know, starting with the parameters dot department number means department number is the actual parameter name. Okay. So I'm just clicking on OK. And if I go to query now, and if I just click on, maybe I'll just create a view here, employee name, and maybe department number, I'll just convert it into dimension here. And I'll just write it drag and drop and maybe sell also on the label now i'll just click on this show parameter now whatever the value that i enter here i'm getting that value so now what is happening here the va value that you are passing in the parameter here is going to the custom sql that you have written here and here it is applying that filter so, so far what we have done in the parameters we have maybe you have we have used it in the filter shelf maybe we have we have used it in the marks label or maybe we have used in the 
rows and columns. So if you have seen my previous videos on parameter use cases, you will know how or in different ways we can use parameter. Now this is the other interesting use case about parameter where we can pass this parameter to our SQL. Very interesting and very helpful and very useful concept in real time. Okay. So I hope you find this video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.